uh, welcome to the channel as well guys welcome our two new followers guys how are you both doing hope you're all doing well let me know how you how yeah how your day is going and uh, thank you thank you so much for the follows guys <laughs> don't we all use reduced food yeah we certainly do to save on the old money it's uh, food's expensive and living living standards nowadays are just so expensive i sound like an old man but i'm not really but um yeah it's uh, it's expensive food so you know find our way so I'm going to give this a blitz. Watch your ears, guys. Now, this is where my girlfriend says, add some rum and a bit of um, lime. And we got ourselves a mojito. I love to have a mojito right now, but <laughs> it's not happening. Chef sees cheer seeds everywhere, I know, right? <laughs> oh, he's missed the B. Schoolboy. Mudsman, 1965. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for the follow. Guys, welcome Mudman to the channel. Guys, please welcome him and the rest of them. How are you doing, my friend, Mudman? How are you doing good? Please watch your ears. About the blitz, the blitz, blitz. Cook me a sandwich. Not really cooking, is it? It's just kind of putting together. But I'd, I'd be happy to make you a sandwich, my friend. How did you find the United States produce prices as compared to the UK produce prices? Um, I think I found it a bit more cheaper to be honest with you James. It wasn't too bad uh, from what we paid. It was actually pretty... Uh, I'd say it's a little bit cheaper to be honest, I think. I don't know, I didn't really notice. I think it was felt kind of the same, so, you know, whichever. So watch yours guys. You know what I just realised? I'm gonna have to empty this thing. So that's blitzed up now. Um, we're gonna have to. Oh, pain in the backside, I'm telling you. Yeah, okay. Fine. Fine. Just gonna have to take this out because I'm gonna need the sieve for it. But I think it's pretty much drained off anyway. I don't want it too, too dry. Just enough so it's, um, it's good. Haha, <laughs> mojito. Oh yes, we remember the mojitos. I think we got through a whole... Well, sorry, I did. She's not going to say her, but... Got through nearly a whole bottle of uh, rum drinking mojitos. So good, though. I love mojitos. They're my favourite drink, I think. As well as cider. But, uh, yeah, so good. I'm not a fan of beer. I do drink it now and again, but... Know. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't even drink a cup of tea either. I just drink water. Very strange chap I am. So awesome. So all that fat can go. Don't pour the fat down the drain, guys. Either pour it into this is not too bad. I can just pour this straight in. There's stuff in the bin already. Pour it straight into it. Pour it into a plastic packet of the, the mint or or the the, the um, meat that you got uh, don't pour it down the drain otherwise you're gonna cause yourself problems and uh, fat down the drain is a no-no because it blocks up your uh, drainage system and it just cost you money in the long run so I'm saving you a hassle here so just drain it off and then wipe it out with a tissue and uh, you know save yourself some money and a headache just don't pour hot um, fat down the drain it's a no-no if you didn't know that you do now so, if you've been doing it, stop it, please. Otherwise, I don't want to hear you guys. I have to pay a load of big, huge bill to unclog my drains outside. And the reason was because you're probably pouring hot fat down there. So, try and avoid it, guys, if you can. It's definitely a no-no. Just saves yourself so much headache. Your accent is awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm a good old British guy. How's it going, laddie? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, my accent's more Somerset kind of accent. I can do loads of accents in English. Uh, agreed. Once I poured fat into a plastic container and it melted. Yeah, 
it needs to be a cool fat so if it's hot leave it on on the stove just to cool down a little bit then pour it in or you'll uh, have issues so right we got our little mint mojito mix i love it I'm starting to go a little bit crazy in the afternoon because I don't usually go this far or this long streaming usually, but eh, I'm not bothered. We all like to see Crazy John now and again. Looks a bit like mint sauce, but without the vinegar. Definitely not very mojito-y. There we go. That'll do. I'm going to give it a wash up in a sec, so take the blade. Take the blade away. It was a noob error, yeah, don't pour hot fat down the, uh, or into a plastic container. Let it cool down, then put it into a plastic container, and then get rid of it, dispose of it. Just kind of use your head a little bit. I've done it before, don't, be, don't worry, no, uh, doodles. I've done it once or twice before, and I've just gone swearing left, right, and center with hot fat everywhere. But I'll tell you what, the funniest story, though, I will tell you guys, is when I was working, and somebody was cleaning out the fryers. You probably half of you are going to be like, oh, I know what he's going to say now. Um, I didn't do it, but somebody else did, and I was laughing my head off. Um, they were empty in the uh, fryers. And uh, they cleaned them out, made, did a good job of it. And I thought, yeah, you know, chef likes them. Um, and then uh, we went out for a quick five minutes outside just to have a little break because we've been working all day. Um, and we came back in. We just saw the whole kitchen flooded with oil. We were like, what the hell? He was there with a mop trying to mop it all up. I was just like laughing my head off. Uh, basically what happened, he forgot to pull the lever back up after closing it. He started to pour the oil in there and he didn't didn't even notice it was flooding past him and he looked round. He was like, why is it not filling up? And he looked round, it was all everywhere in the kitchen. Oh my god, what a mess. Seriously. He was pretty much crying by the end of it. Not surprised because he had to clean it all up. And believe you me, cleaning up oil off the floor is a nightmare. And trying to make it not slippy. Oh my god, it was so slippy in there for days. You had to chuck loads of salt on the floor and stuff. Oh my god, it was a nightmare. <clears throat> I know I am for my impatience. Yeah, it's a bit of a downfall sometimes, impatience. I'm kind of the same sometimes. So yeah, I'm just going add in some of this uh, mint juice, if that's what we want to call it, to the yogurt, because the yogurt's quite thick. Um, but I want that flavour of mint through it, so it should be blitzed up. So, let's put that aside so you guys can see what I'm doing. So, I'm just mixing it a little bit in. Oh, that's very minty. That's delicious. Really good. Have a little bit more in there, though. I need to thin it down just a tad bit more. Oh my god, cleaning up oil. Cleaning oily pans is bad enough. It was all over the floor, it was disgusting. Me and the other chef were just laughing at him, just saying, you're a muppet, honestly. He was just getting really angry with himself, I'm just like... Always check you got your, your pipe, the um, pump up, so you don't pour it all over the place. Oh god, what a mess it was. It was horrible. Nearly fell, it was quite dangerous actually because we nearly fell in the kitchen a few times. But we were okay in the end, which was good. But yeah, seriously not funny. So I'll keep that aside, I don't need it. I'm gonna get a pan on ready for this. Um, What's it called? Rice. Um, I'm going to make some coconut rice. Have I got coconut milk here? Yeah. Or the healthier coconut? I have. Awesome. So, this is a healthier version. Still got some sugars in it, but very low sugars in it. So, oh wow. Doesn't sound very. Uh... Let me give it a mix. Yeah. Needed a bit of air opening before I can shake it. Always give them a shake before you uh, pour some coconut milk in there. Awesome. 
So how much do I want? That'll do. I'm gonna top the rest up with a little bit of water. I'm gonna put that on to heat for the rice. So delicious. I'm gonna have a cup of this because I love it. It's great with smoothies as well now and again, but it's delicious. I'm not used to it. And uh, oh wow. To me, you guys probably won't think it, but to me that's a little bit sweet. Not a great deal of sugar in there, but to me it tastes really sweet. Even though it says quite low on the back. Oof. Add some of that. I'm just so used to drinking water, I think. That is the main thing. And because there's no sugar in anything like that, I'm not used to drinking or eating too much sugar. Which makes me feel funny. I did fancy some coconut milk though, but whichever to the room. My fish pie with coconut milk. Oh, was it? Oh, wow. Had some of that uh, needed using up. That's fair enough. Was it nice? I'm guessing it was because it's probably all gone by now. <clears throat> so, just putting these peas in on top of the, uh, the lamb mince that we've made the mixture. Show you now. All I've done is just basically put them on top. So just getting rid of some of this. So I'm just gonna get some balsma balsmati rice, whichever. I'm just gonna grab. I'm not gonna need a lot. <clears throat> About a cup or so. So cooking it. Yes, it was. Uh, didn't have the strong coconut taste, it couldn't really tell the difference. Yeah, that coconut kind of milk. Unless you get the concentrated stuff, the pure coconut milk, then it's very fatty and it's very, um, yeah, not very good for you, but it's tasty. Um, that stuff I had is very light stuff. Um, it's mainly got like water and stuff in it. But that tastes a little bit sweet for me, even though it says low sugar on it, but maybe my taste buds are adjusting again. I'm eating so much low sugar stuff. Stuff tastes sweeter. Oh, it's so bad at opening these packets, it's just gonna go everywhere, seriously. Wish they could just like have an easy open pack for idiots like me. So I don't need to uh, make an absolute mess when I open the packet. I'm gonna do about half a cup a sample. That's apple. So, what we're gonna do? The old sticker on it. Stop it pouring all over my cupboard. There we go. Awesome. So, half a cup of rice. Put that over there. Um, gonna get that into um, a squeezy bowl. Then we're gonna make these samosas with the phyllo, and then we should be about there. Doesn't take long to cook them. So, deliciousness is on its way. Grab me a pink funnel. Still online, toxic. Yeah, I know. I'm going extra long today. I have been here just lurking. Yeah, I know. I know you have, buddy. Did you go have food or something, didn't you? I can't remember. I'm still here. I'm still going. I don't care what time I finish. We finish when we finish. Having an extra long stream today, why not? Saturday, hey? Pull in a few more viewers. See what's going about. All the Americans are all waking up as well, so... We, uh... Might get some new follows, this, that and the other. We get new follows every day, which is good. But, uh, might get some people that never know I'm here. Crimson Knight, how you doing my friend? 